I mean, I'll go out there and block and do anything else that the coaches ask me to do, but um, I feel like I'm better with the ball. Coach was talking about sometimes you need to make um, the easier play. He said there's sometimes you try to do some hero stuff, yeah, jumping yeah. over people, doing the hitch instead <laughs> of uh, scrambling around. Can you uh, elaborate on that? Yeah, um, basically it's just play within our offense. I mean, yeah, we have things that's there. And um, if you miss reads and things like that, um, you try to. I try to do other things besides just outside the offense that's not supposed to be done, and, and we talk about that on the sideline. But that's also kind of what makes you unique. Yeah, right? I mean, I mean, at the same time, it does when you get positive plays, but when you get things like interceptions and holding calls, I mean, it, it doesn't add up. Thank you. What was the message at halftime for you guys? It was pretty intense in the locker room. Um, no, not not really. I mean, it was players that was jumping around, talking about need to wake up and let's get it. Because at halftime, it was only like we were only up by three, so um, we knew that we were way better than this school, and we played down to their level of competition. And that's what happened in the first half. So, what did they tell you at halftime? Did, did Coach Anderson or Coach Burns tell you this is what you guys have out here, but you guys aren't seeing it? Or y'all uh, had mean, some passes over the seam that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we had uh, Casey even threw a post over the middle that uh, we knew that was going to be there again. So uh, we went back to it, and um, it was pretty much uh, execution of the offense. I mean, if we play behind schedule, I mean, we're not going to be as good. So you led the team in passing and receptions today. It's got to be a first in TCU yeah, history. Yeah, I was trying to get at least one pass and one rushing and one receiving. I think I was going to be the first in history to try to do it. But, um, I mean, I'm just happy we came out with the W. So the Co first, the, my first win in Amon G. Carter. Coach Patterson didn't – I mean, he, he said Casey's not going to play next week. So, I mean, is that any extra weight on your shoulder to get uh, in there? No, not really. I mean, the same – it's just like last year. So, I mean, but – from the point last year to this year, I feel like I've got better. I've mentally prepared more, and um, I'm physically I'm better than I was last year. So I don't feel like it's a problem. What do you think about your running backs' performance right now? BJ's just having so far what's a pretty good year. Yeah, what do you think I about mean, those guys? Um, if, if I was to hand off any, if I was to give anybody the ball, then it'd probably be BJ Wayman and the running backs. I mean, they just they make stuff look so easy and effortless. I mean, it's crazy. So you tried to hurdle a guy today. <sighs> Well, like, oh, I caught a crap. Well, when I seen him, like, as I was coming around, I seen he was, like, he was standing there and he was looking dead at my feet. So I was like, I'm just going to try to jump. And I guess when he seen me jump, caught me in midair. It was crazy. I was like, I knew it looked pretty stupid. <laughs> Can you compare yourself from, from when you had got thrust into the, in, to the starting role last year versus, you know, you might – uh, I feel like only I was young, um, uh, so I can say that uh, now, I've, I've, like I said, I've mentally prepared more than what I did last year. I mean, I even the stuff that I do this year, I didn't do last year, like going and getting film and all that extra stuff. So, I mean, when I was thrown into position, it was more forcing me to do stuff. Now I'm willing to do. It. So you're playing against the team last year that you had a pretty good game against this yeah. week. What are your thoughts going into Thursday? Um, I mean, just get in and win by one point, really. Just get in there and win by one point and leave it in the first Big 12 game. So you're already a, you're already kind of a leader of this of this team, mm -hmm. only as a sophomore. What do you tell the younger guys to do this week? Um, um, basically, uh, if it's an older guy in your group, same as your position group, you, you, you follow that older guy. You do what he does. And if he's not leading by example, then you, you need to find somebody who is and, and get behind them. Is it weird where you can be on one drive and you can play a wide receiver, quarterback, wide receiver? Is it weird jump, bouncing around like no, that? No, I, I think it's fun, I man. Actually, getting out there, running around, playing, and all that. It's just <laughs> football, which is what I love to do. Yeah. You think about uh, you, you, you're you tied for the team leading catches, love the team in yards, something you think about during the game? Or you no, <laughs> but I, I was really trying to get um, uh, a pass and a receiving and a rushing touchdown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I dropped the one pass and touchdown. That I, that they, they when you first played last year, did you have butterflies at first? Uh, yeah, the first, I, I, you could say the first game was like, the Iowa State game, it happened so fast that I was like, it was gone like that. I was like, it was crazy. So coming back the next week, I mean, it was way better playing Baylor, but now skipping to like a whole year forward to now, I mean, it's gotten, it's, it's getting pretty easy. I mean, I'm, I'm starting to read coverage is easy and everything.